bring in Indira Ayuk, uh, who is our regional correspondent in neighboring Cameroon. Indira, what more are you hearing about the situation in Gabon at the moment? Well, the situation for now, what we have as latest information is that some Gabonese nationals are down on the streets of Libreville, that's the capital of Gabon, celebrating or jubilating the military takeover in the country. Clearly, most of them did not want uh, the outgoing president, Ali Bongo Ndimba, to continue for a third term in office. Meantime, it is believed that Ali Bongo is under house arrest in a location believed to be the presidential palace. That is information that was given by the 12 military people who spoke on national television. For now, every other thing is still unknown. We do not know the direction uh, the coup in Gabon is uh, taking. However, we know that outgoing president Ali Bongo Ndimba is under house arrest. Meanwhile, Gabonese in the capital, Libreville, are on the streets jubilating the recent turn of events. Right, Indira, as you're speaking, we can see some of those pictures uh, behind us. Uh, do we know more about who is behind this coup? Who is going to be the new putsch leader? Well, there is no, uh, no, no information about that for now. All we know is that there are military people who have been loyal to the current regime, which has been in place for over 50 years. There's no particular name that has triggered out as at now about who is maybe the interim president or while looking to uh, stabilize things in Gabon. There's no particular name that has been put forward at the moment. So just tell us a bit more uh, about the Bongo family that has uh, ruled the country now for over 50 years years. Uh, give us some context on, on what kind of country they have led and if this could now mean the end of their reign. Well, uh, as most people will know, uh, um, Ali Bongo's father, his late father, Omar Bongo Ndimba, became president of Gabon. That is the second president of the country in 1967. He ruled for close to 42 years until his death in 2009, when his son took over in elections, which were organized in uh, August of 2009. And since then, uh, Omar Bongo has been the president. He fell sick sometime in 2018, and people were hoping that that could be the end of the Bongo dynasty or what they now call the Bongo dynasty. Unfortunately, he has held on to power and was even hoping for a third term in office. There were also speculations that Omar Bongo was just, uh, or Ali Bongo, was uh, waiting to hand over to his son, who may be next in line uh, in the Omar or in the Bongo dynasty. Unfortunately, that has come to an end with uh, the military or the uh, imminent or the attempted coup, which is ongoing in the country right now.